Hello and welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Elir Sindi. December 12th marks the 18th anniversary of the death of the architect and founder of modern and independent Azerbaijani state, world-renowned politician and national leader of the Azerbaijani people, Hedar Aliyev. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev, First Lady Mehriban Aliyeva and family members visited the grave of the nationwide leader Haydar Aliyev. President Ilham Aliyev, First Lady Mehriban Aliyeva and family members also visited the grave of the nationwide leader's spouse, outstanding ophthalmologist, academician Zarifa Aliyeva.
They also visited the graves of prominent statesman Aziz Aliyev and Professor Tamerlan Aliyev. An entire period of Azerbaijan's history is connected with the name of the great leader Haydar Aliyev. The main essence of this period is the love to motherland and people. Because of these qualities, Haydar Aliyev will live in the hearts of people forever. President Tukham Aliyev made a post on the commemoration day of national leader Haydar Aliyev on his official social media accounts. In the post, President Tukham Aliyev cited the national leader as saying, for me, protecting, maintaining and making internal the independence of Azerbaijan are above my life. First Vice President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Mirban Aliyeva, has made a post on the commemoration day of national leader Hedar Aliyev on her official Instagram page. The post says, the great man who lives forever in our hearts. The 18th death anniversary of the national leader Haider Aliyev is being celebrated outside our country. Everyone who knows Haider Aliyev, officials, intellectuals, diplomats, diaspora activists, honored the memory of the great leader. A monument to the great leader Haider Aliyev was visited in the Haider Aliyev Park in Istanbul, Sarıyer district. The participants of the commemoration ceremony honored the memory of the genius and later he sent flowers at the monument. Consul General Nermina Mustafaeva, chair of the Marmara Group Foundation for Strategic and Social Studies, Professor Akkan Suver and others emphasized national leaders' rich statehood heritage during their speeches. A conference dedicated to national leader Haydar Aliyev was held in Ghdur. The conference, organized by the Union of Turkish Elders, with the support of the Consulate General of Azerbaijan in Kars, the intermediate municipality in various circles in Ghdur, was dedicated to Haydar Aliyev's role in the development of Turkish-Azerbaijani relations. The role of the national leader in strengthening Turkish-Azerbaijani diplomatic, economic and political relations was discussed at the event. It was stressed that the legacy created by Haydar Aliyev will forever illuminate Turkish-Azerbaijani relations. National leader Haydar Aliyev was also commemorated at the embassy of our country in Germany. Ambassador Ramin Hassanov spoke about the services of the great leader, who dedicated his life to the development of Azerbaijan, to our country. It was noted that the policy founded by Haydar Aliyev ensured a bright future for Azerbaijan. As a result of the purposeful policy, the brave Azerbaijani army, under the leadership of the victorious Supreme Commander-in-Chief, President Tukham Aliyev, liberated our occupied lands from enemy captivity. The event also featured a musical program dedicated to the memory of the great leader, performed by a young Azerbaijani pianist studying in Germany, Nermin Najafli. President Tukham Aliyev and Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan are scheduled to meet on December 15th in Brussels on the margins of the EU Eastern Partnership Summit, Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov said in a statement to Astave. On December 15th, the Eastern Partnership Summit will be held. The projects implemented as well as prospects for cooperation in various spheres between the EU and Azerbaijan will be discussed. For decades, our country has had close ties with the European Union in various areas that are still developing. At the same time, on the initiative of President of the European Council, Charles Michel, the meeting of President Ilham Aliyev and Prime Minister of Armenia, Nikol Pashinyan, will be held within the summit. Azerbaijan has always been open to discussions and negotiation process and pursues a policy aimed at resolving issues.
Since November of last year, more than 400 historical and cultural monuments and more than 800 cultural enterprises have been discovered in the liberated lands. This was disclosed by the Ministry of Culture, Anar Karimov. It was noted that after the completion of monitoring, the results will be sent to international organizations. There are such places which cannot be accessed by our representative. There is mine threat there and the difficult terrain. But this work continues. Following the completion of the monitoring, a list will be compiled and we will appeal to international organizations demanding that Armenia is brought to justice. The destructed monuments show that these are the military crimes and crimes committed against humanity. Special units will be opened in the territories liberated from the occupation. At the same time, equipment will be procured to expedite the mining works. This was stated by the Minister of Emergency Situations, Kameradin Heydarov, in the statement to the journalists. Approximately 74 new demining specialists have been trained. 120 units of mine clearance devices have been procured from abroad. They have been supplied by Turkey and other countries. Also, Anamar Azerbaijan Mine Action Agency, the Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of Emergencies are working not only to provide mine clearance devices, but also to acquire robots engaged in mine clearing activities. You know, as the grass becomes dense and greener, it is difficult to carry out mine clearance activities there. Now it is winter, the green grass is getting dry, and this will enable us to expedite the demining works. Chair of the State Customs Committee, Safar Mehdiev, said electronic management systems are established in Azerbaijan in order to prevent smuggling of goods and evasion from the payment of customs duties in Azerbaijan, and added the acceptance of electronic customs declarations. Safar Mehdiev also stated that customs posts operating in Goruz Kafan Road continue their service in line with the legislation of the Republic of Azerbaijan. The foreign vehicles and citizens entering the Goruska Farm Road are subjected to the same taxes as all the other vehicles and citizens entering other border control checkpoints located within the internationally recognized borders of the Republic of Azerbaijan. In the first quarter of 2023, it is expected to commission Horadiz Akhband Railway. Already 40 kilometers of soil bedding is ready. In the near future, upper layer of the railway will be prepared. In parallel, the mining works are ongoing. This was stated by the chair of Azerbaijan Railway's closed joint stock company, Chavit Gurbanov, in his statement to the journalists. <laughs> The connection of Horadiz Arban Railway with the Nakhchivan Railway can start after negotiations on the opening of communications between Azerbaijan and Armenia yield positive results. The Armenian railways will be managed by Russia until 2038. I think in the future this period will be extended. 1,226 infections with the novel coronavirus were registered in Azerbaijan. 1,649 people recovered after treatment and were released home. 18 people who earlier tested positive for COVID-19 died. The overall confirmed cases in Azerbaijan have reached 604,480, with 576,264 recoveries and 8,088 deaths. The number of active infections is 20,128. To detect new infection cases over the past day, 11,280 tests and overall 5,677,746 tests have been conducted in Azerbaijan, the task force under the Cabinet of Ministers reported. That was all for today. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.